So it looks like we have a leaky boiler. Now I know it's the boiler because the water is actually warm and I hold my hand underneath it. So in this video we're going to try and fix it. So our boiler has four outlet pipes. There's one, two, three, and four. Which is the uh, furthest away, well, nearest to the back is the one that's leaking. Let's take a look inside and see what that could be. So this is our boiler. And down here are the exit points. There's one. There's two. This is the one which is the antifreeze uh, valve. There's one just there. That's three. And then this pipe, this pipe here, goes down through the floor as well. Now this is the furthest one, or the nearest one to the back. So it's got to be this one that's leaking. Now it's connected to the side of the boiler just here. See, this is where the hot water comes out after it's been heated. And there's this uh, kind of clear pipe, and you can see there's water in it just there. And I can actually see it moving. So what's happening is that I think this is some sort of valve a pressure valve so if the water gets too if there's too much pressure in the boiler then <clears throat> it just uh, releases some of that pressure and some of the water it looks like though that this is no longer working because yeah it's actually dripping water now I suppose I could just clip this clamp this off so no, no uh, water escapes but I don't think I'll do that I'm gonna see if I can get a replacement kit for this and uh, see if I can fix it properly I managed to buy a kit and I'll put a link in the description but uh, I think it's going to be different depending on what boiler you have but this is the one I've got uh, it says here number 34150-01 from Truma and uh, it is a pressure relief valve kit I do believe and what you get in the kit is this tube now I've straightened this tube out by dipping it in hot water making it a bit more flexible and then straightening it out getting the kinks out you get this which is the pressure relief valve and I'll show you that in a second in a bit more detail you get a screw cap um, what's that probably a collet or something and a rubber washer now I, just, I, knew, I know where they go, they go right? I know where these go how you assemble these I'm guessing so I'm gonna look at the one that's already in the boiler and make a judgment but I think the w rubber washer goes in there and then the collet goes in the in there as well and then of course you screw that on just like that that's how I'm thinking it's working so how does this pressure relief valve work well it's quite ingenious really the hot water from the boiler comes out through here so that's attached to the boiler like that uh, and if I blow on here The water is going to come down here into the motor home to the taps and whatever. If I blow on here or suck on here, nothing. So nothing's coming out through here, okay? Nothing comes out through here unless there's a build up of pressure through the hot water, um, and then it will, which I can't demonstrate at the moment. Uh, then the water will start coming out of here, or air will start coming out of here. The other thing is if I blow on this, it's coming out of both sides if I blow, but if I suck, nothing. So that's the pressure relief valve. It's a safety feature, but basically. First of all, I unfastened the Jubilee clip, and then with a the spanner, I undone the plastic nut, and that allowed me to get access to the copper pipe and the collet. Now the connection between the relief valve and the red hose there was really tight. So 
So what he ended up doing there was giving it a nice hot bath and that made the hose all nice and soft and allowed me to remove the valve. Well, I managed to get it off. Um, this is a 22 mm uh, spanner. So that's nice and that just you have to be mad with it, just gently prise it uh, uh, open. Um, and yeah, m my idea was right. Uh, so the rubber grommet is in the end there. So you can see it just about stuck in the end. Uh, and the collet is actually over the metal pipe that's uh, the, the, where the hot water is coming out of. So it does go in like that. Um, so all I need to do now is put it all back together again. And hopefully I've solved my problem. I wasn't recording when I did this, but I just put the end of the red the tube, the pipe, into a cup of hot water. Uh, that made it a bit more flexible. Now all I've got to do, that's all nicely lined up, just twist it around a bit more. So it just naturally holds in that position. I'll tighten the Jubilee clip up. Now I was going to cut the pipe to get rid of the old uh, connection uh, imprints, I suppose you could call them. But uh, at the risk of shortening this pipe too much, there's not a lot of uh, leeway in it. So if it does leak, I can then go back to it and trim it. But I think that's going to be fine. I think now it's just going to be a matter of putting the new nut on and then the collet, push that over. Hopefully it won't break. And then I can screw it together. Now I did have a problem oh, screwing no. the nut back on, putting them both bits together. Uh, the, they didn't seem to line up properly um, and I was worried that they would be threaded. So I tried something different. It feels like it's going on wrong. Oh, there you go. I think, I hope. Just give it a quick nip with the spanner. Finally, the breather pipe. What do you want to call this clear thing? That just pushes on quite easily. And it exits through the floor there, see? Right, so I haven't done that right. Uh, the boiler's now got water in it, uh, but um, this hasn't been put on properly, so I'm going to undo that. I didn't think it was. I have water dripping out from here, from around here. So it needs to be on a bit closer to the uh, boiler, I think, so we don't see, because I don't remember seeing so much of the pipe. So I don't say it wrong, let's have a look at that. Yeah, so you can see that the collet is not gone on all the way so I need I do need to push that on first and the rubbers deformed a slight a bit so I'll, I'll sort that out that's much better so let's give this an, another test fill the boiler up see if any water comes out so there's your hot water coming out so the boilers full and there's no leaks now okay so uh, let's get it nice and hot and see what happens. Now the boiler is now finished heating up. It's, it's set to 60 degrees. Uh, and uh, let's just try the tap. Oh, yeah, that's, that's hot. Ah, that is hot. <laughs> so in here, I'm not seeing any leaks, which is good. Nothing's coming down the pipe here, this breather. So I think, I think I fixed it. Yeah, so my problem seems to have been solved. The issue being the pressure release valve here. I don't know, I mean, it still seems to work if I, I can blow and suck on it. <laughs> just like the new one. Uh, but I guess it's just worn out or it's uh, got lime scale in it or something like that. I don't know. But it, it is not good enough for the boiler. So replacing that has fixed my problem. Uh, and if this video has helped you uh, or you've enjoyed watching it, then please give, do give the video a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any comments about or questions about what I've been doing here, or maybe you've got a similar problem and you solved it a different way, let us know in the comments section. Uh, if you haven't 
subscribe then I suggest maybe you should subscribe and if you do subscribe don't forget to click the notification bell to get updates on future videos until next time thank you very much for watching and goodbye